Hi, I'm Jimmy, and you're watching Lost in Japan. I'm right outside my house right now, and I don't know if you can hear this. This is the cicadas. This is the male cicada mating call, and it's really loud. There's got to be at least three or four different kinds, and I want to go see if we can find them. Oh, wow. You can tell right here that there's already... They've been crawling out from under the ground. And you can see the shells up there. Now, they live close to like a decade or probably more underground. And then they come up above ground for like a couple weeks to, you know, just during the summer. So, most of their life cycle is underground. I think worldwide there's like close to, was it, uh, over a thousand species. Living in Japan, I think I've only seen about six or seven, but I'm sure there's a lot more. God, they're so loud. Now they're getting really loud here. Let's see if we can spot a few. we can find a few more. These buggers are really camouflaged, so they're not that easy to find. And I see so many shells up here. Here goes one right here. Here goes another shell down here. Let's see. What we used to do with, uh, we used to take these in the middle of the night you take them home and hang them on a curtain, and they would split open. You watch them split open the curtain, and they would fly off. Put that back down. Look, these shells are everywhere. Here goes a live one. There you go. That's what they look like before they actually become the cicada or the semi. I can't believe we actually found one of these guys in the middle of the day. We're going to come back here again. Oh, here. Oh, I found another one. Come here, follow me. I think I found another one. Oh, this one. Get a close up. See him? Here, cut a live sucker. Check him out up close. This is the mid. These are the males. Check them out. Let's see if we can get them up close. See, I got two. This is what they look like before they come out and after they come out. Pretty interesting, huh? I'm gonna let them go. I can't go down there. Come on, let's go over here. A little Japanese shrine temple over here. I want to get another one. I want to catch another one, a different species. It's like a rainforest in here. Whoa. Here goes another one. This is a different kind right here. You can see it's a di total different color from compared to the last one. 
This one's not crying at all, so this might be a female. Take one more close look before I let it go. They, they sound so close, but you have no idea where they're coming from. It's like they're throwing their voice. Oh, there goes a loud one. That's definitely a male. Try to nab that sucker. Whoa! Here's a loud one. That's a male. Let's try to stop his wing so we can see what's going on. Wow, he's loud. Let's let him go now. That's wicked. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on, come on, let's go over here. I can't believe I'm so good at catching them. <laughs> That's like, come on, it's hard. You know how hard it is to catch those things? Okay, I can't believe that we were as lucky as we are today. I mean, I've caught three of them. We actually caught this. This is totally, he's out here at the wrong time of the day. Hopefully we're gonna come back, maybe tonight in the next few days and try to catch a few of these to see if they're still around and we can show you how they pop out of these suckers. So uh, you've been watching Lost in Japan. I hope to see you again in the next episode. Bye. Okay, so I'm Jimmy from Lost in Japan. We were out here yesterday in the afternoon looking for cicadas or the semi in Japanese. And we're actually out here to look for the nymphs, like kind of like the larva before they pop out, spread, get their wings out. So let's go look. It's about 4.30, 4, 4.30 in the morning here. I'm hoping we're not too late and it is raining a little bit. Oh, you can see, look, the holes here, look. Look, see them? So I think maybe we, we, had, we should be coming out a little earlier in the evening. So this must be a good spot, because I'm seeing a whole bunch of holes here. Oh, look, look, look. See, actually, I think we're late and they've molted already, but you can see them real close to his actual shell. Here goes a live one. See him? Oh, look, there goes another one. So I'm thinking that we actually missed it by a few hours here. But you can just see how quiet they are in here in the morning. So I'm thinking we're like off by a couple hours. But yeah, see, look. Here we go, look, look. See them? See, they, they've, they're, they're, was it the wings have just hardened? So they're not flying off yet. It's taking them a few hours, but they'll be ready by sunlight. These are already, they've already come out of their shell, but look how they're all clustered up here. You see that? Look at this tree. This tree, there's, this is a, this is like a crazy amount of them here. Look at that. Look at that. And there goes another one up there. You can see all of the shells are all lumped together there. Okay, well that was our failed attempt at looking at some of these uh, cicada nymphs, but uh, we did get to see a little bit of their nocturnal life. So hopefully we'll be able to catch them another day, but I guess I'm gonna head back home now.